Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to have a go at the four daily challenges. Challenge one today then is at the Fire Rock Raceway. We are in the road cutter here and these are the tuning settings I'm going to use. Three lap race then and uh, all 24 vehicles in the race. fairly tight track this one so I'm just gonna try and hold my line here through this corner this will put me on the inside up here as well so I might be able to make a couple more places pretty good start so far coming up towards the really tight left hand hairpin bend here I'm gonna again try and hold the inside kind of hold it really tight around here not swing out wide that's not bad puts me on the outside for this little bit there just sneak past that one right behind the leader then now can I get up the inside of that as well Ooh, little wide oh and a big hit from behind just about managed to hold it there nearly got spun right round okay that's let this hammerhead get up into the lead can I get up the inside here into this final corner it's a bit of a tight line then but now I've held it so we are in the lead as we start the second lap. Oh, ah, took that way too fast. Took that too fast and then really had to brake to keep it on the track. That's let that car get back in front of me. Oh, big hit behind. Oh, gone a bit sideways there. Can I? get up the inside again no no room at the moment oh and a hit from behind there from the third place car there's a gap just got to hold it tight around this corner make sure they don't get back up inside of me saying that looking at the map they might just have dropped back slightly we'll have a look when we get around this uh, final corner of the lap slightly wide there but not too bad yeah we've opened up a big gap actually as we start the final lap right let's uh, that's a much better speed to take that corner <laughs> that's how we should have taken it last time a lot of tyres all over the track here quite a lot of debris as well whoops just cut over the edge there really have got quite a good lead back to second place so unless I make a big mistake we should be okay I think this was uh, I think this was the track used in one of the uh, weekly time attack challenges fairly recently again took that corner a little wide but it's okay we've got plenty of space behind there's plenty of time to change the camera oh big crash there by second and third place as they run into the barrier we're through though for a win and a gold trophy challenge two today then is at the rattlesnake race park and we're going to be racing in the big rig so this should be good fun three lap race around this track 12 of us in the race obviously pretty congested coming up here so let's just hold our position and try and get ourselves around this corner not try and force it too much don't want to spin anyone in front of me just got to watch we don't get twisted as we come over some of these jumps um, going to be up on the outside for this first right hand corner which is not the ideal place to be but hopefully we can make it work yeah oh, not too bad but <laughs> that does it also means we've somehow managed to find ourselves on the outside of this corner as well at least this should hopefully give me the line I want to take the right hand path here I prefer this route if possible now you just got to watch coming over this jump here and when you hit this little bump here you can yeah oh let's try and get around the outside oh no 
I saw that crash and thought I could get around the outside but that blue big rig was reversing and blocked the path totally yeah we actually got over those last bumps quite well but you do have to watch them because you can oh front wheel damaged that's not good let's have a look at that looks okay not too much damage overall so hopefully we're okay but yeah coming over those final those final jumps just before the final corner of the lap it's uh, you can catch it a bit funny and then suddenly the big rig becomes very front heavy and flings you forwards or flips you forward I'd say we actually had took the jumps quite well saw the accident in front and thought we could nip round the outside but all of a sudden the gap has, had gone Ooh. it does mean we were a little bit behind if we had to take the left hand path here as well oh big crash in front big crash that's let us get through managed to find the gap this time and we're through into the lead as we come up towards the end of the second lap quite a big lead as well actually this is quite a big jump as well off here but just the way the ground slopes away you normally find that it's it's fine that the the uh, the heavy front end sort of takes the front end down but it's as it's a downhill slope anyway it's it's fine okay round we come then as we're free to choose we'll choose the right hand path yeah so I find if if you take this full speed this jump you're fine because you you just hit sort of the brow of the next jump and it's okay or if you take it slow you're okay but it's that medium speed if you if you catch your back wheels on it, it flips you forward quite a good lead back as we come over the line then change the camera and through for a gold trophy in the second challenge of the day challenge three then we're at the moor for a score streak we are in the road cutter here three minutes we've got to get the score we need and 3200 for the bronze, tro uh, bronze trophy so it's uh, it's quite a high score we're a bit jammed in here yeah let's reset quickly try and collect as many quick early hits as we can link them together as fast as we can but try not if possible to do too much damage to a front end early on so if I can just tap the back of cars or hit the side of them then I'll try and do that rather than head-ons let's uh, oh yeah let's see if we get a chance to uh, push or knock any cars off the off the edge of the arena here as well oh there was one there can I get to it go on off you go Oh, it's just clinging on. <laughs> I thought I could push it over. Is it still there? It is still there. Come on, let's go and finish it off. Ooh, I'm off as well. Not quite. Just about hung on. I thought I was going to uh, overshoot and go over as well. Let's uh, see if we get some good hits with the back end while we're there. Save the front end of our car a little bit. Right, I probably need to concentrate a bit more on <laughs> getting points now. There we go, there's the bronze trophy. But yeah, I probably need to concentrate on getting some points now rather than knocking cars off the edge of the arena. Big hit there. 18. Making reasonable progress. I need to hit something quick here. That's it, keep that score multiplier up couple more big hits here and we'll have got the silver there we go there's a silver trophy and we've got over a minute left so we're in reasonable shape we only just need about another thousand points now can we knock that one off oh I thought I could knock that one over the edge but the front wheel sort of went up the side of their car and over the top of it a little bit a couple of damaged cars here that's a good hit 
Shame I didn't get the wreck, wreck but... One or two more hits should do it. Oh, there we go, let's knock that one over. And a wreck here, that will do it. There's the gold trophy. Just over 20 seconds left as well. So it was fairly tight, but uh, not too bad. Right, let's see if we can get a few more hits, a few more points, maybe get the chance to shove someone else off if we can. What about that one, no. Oh, what about this one? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we're right on the edge. We're both stuck on the edge as the challenge finishes. Gold trophy anyway, though, and 9,555 points in the end. On to the fourth and final challenge of the day, then, and we're at the death loop for this one. We are in the pocket rocket again, as we have been for quite a lot of the final challenges recently. This should be really good fun driving this car around the death loop circuit. We're up against 23 opponents, all in differing small vehicles, more pocket rockets, dodgems, lawn mowers, sofas, etc. Sort of uh, found myself on this right hand path here. I prefer the left one normally, but this one's fine as well. Just got to watch for the vehicles inside me as I try and cut in. Looks like I might be clear. Right, I think we're going to need a lot of speed to, to take this death loop. I'm presuming we can get round it in this. And if we can, I will try and use the death loop each time. Whoa, that gets really twitchy at the top. I think we only just have enough speed to, uh, to make that. So we've got to make sure that we do get really good pace to go around that. If we get, uh, if we get knocked or, or something on our approach, that that could cause problems. We're right behind the leader here though, third place right behind us. Let's go my preferred left hand path this time. Maybe get an overtake as we come down here. Oh yeah, leader's actually crashed. That's let us through. Gone a bit wide here. Right, we need to get a really good fast run here up to the death loop. Hopefully all these will go ooh, just over our head. That sofa just missed <laughs> decapitating us. Oh yeah, again, a little bit twitchy, just at the top of the death loop as you struggle for speed. Again, we'll take the ramp. It does give a little bit of extra protection taking the ramp. Looks like we've opened up quite a good lead back to second place now. That's the second place on the map just going through the finish line now. Obviously, there's a, on this circuit and with the death loop, a lot could happen yet, so we might yet need that big lead. There's a sofa ahead of us, just got to watch that he doesn't come around just as I'm crossing over that bit there. That's why I took it to the right. Whoa, that was really twitchy. Only just managed to hold that. Take the ramp again, looks like we're clear though, actually. Start the last lap then, and we've just got to just got to uh, make the challenge of doing the loop one more time. I could, of course, chicken out and go the the other way, but we have got a good lead, so let's give this a go. Just got to watch this sofa coming out of ghost mode. Don't tap me. I can't afford to lose any speed. Oh, that was super twitchy. Hit that sofa just as I was coming off the bottom of the loop, but that was okay. I was uh, I was through by then. Okay, around we come last time. Over the ramp. And through we come for a final win and gold trophy of the day. Well that's the end of the four daily challenges for today and we've managed to get a clean sweep of gold trophies again. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and see you soon.